Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. I gotta, I gotta swap the side that that's on. I can do that down here. It's loading on both sides. But I can load it in here onto only one side of the belt. And then I don't need to worry about it. So... That's going to go in that way, like that. So which way do I want this to be? Which which side of the belt do I want it? Uh, that's got to come out of there. This is just going to go in here like this. I'm going to get rid of those two. So it's got to be on the left-hand side as we're looking. Left-hand side is going up. It has to go in on that left-hand side as it's going up or it's not going to be okay. So in order for it to only load onto the left-hand side, I want to bring it out of here. All I need to do is put a splitter on there like that. Remove that. I don't need a splitter on this at all. I put this out and that out to there. That one goes up there like that and then it hooks into there. Right, so that's loading it only on the left-hand side. It's loading on both sides here. I mean, it's only loading on one side all the way round. It's loading on that far side. Which should be on the right-hand side, which is on the wrong side. So, I could change this around ever so slightly and put some different belts. So, no, that's fine. That That's absolutely fine. I don't need to change anything around on that. That comes all the way up through. The trees will be on the correct side of the belt as we come up through there. And everything should be tickety-boo and wonderful. So, I've got a little bit of a shortage over there. This side, the soil is coming through and then being loaded into these. And we need to wait a little bit before we can get more of them running. Now, in order to be able to get some more of those running, all I need to do... Is come back over this side. So I have got the spare wheat coming in here, and then we've got this coming in here. We've got the algae coming in here. Like I've got 500 compost right in there. I got three on this side. So the algae is sort of being used up, but I got plenty of compost from the wheat and 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 us sort of cycling through and us doing everything that it should be doing. And then down here, I've got a little bit of this, but we have got a shortage of this. And it's not because of the compost now, it is because of the mud. Now, I've got level 2 plants over here that are producing plenty of mud. I've got salt water up here, the saline water. I'm getting rid of this as rapidly as I possibly can. Potentially, that is what's causing the a bit of a problem here so I'll make a new clarifier I'll pick that clarifier up make another one to replace the one that I've just gotten rid of and then I will place down two clarifiers here I'll put one here and I'll put one here as well and then I will take a little pipe and I'll drop that in between. And now I've got both clarifiers working in here. That should speed up the rate at which this saline water is being removed. And being used up for any saline water that is not currently being absorbed in here anywhere. Uh, algae is not a problem. Although it does look like we're struggling to produce enough green algae. What is the issue here? We got a shortage of any materials. Doesn't look like it to be honest. It looks like we are, we've got all the materials. It's just that we're using everything we're producing. Right, so I've done that one. It's this one, silicon processing next. I want that one, start research off you trot. That's looking a bit more promising in there. 184 out of 200 and that's 192 in there and it's still running through. Uh, if I go back into here, I'm still having to wait a little bit to get rid of this saline water, but it's not as much as it was. It's just, it's barely pausing now, so they'll all be the same. Like, well, those don't matter. It's the saline water one is the, is the one that was causing the issue. Down this end is fine. That one's not fine. That isn't getting rid of this saline water yet. 
I need to, I need to be, that's got to be pumping out. We, we, we need more of that coming out. It's not going out fast enough. Right, so we want more clarifiers. Two more. We've got to get rid of a lot of this stuff. Right, so you will come around there. There's too many pipes in the way to put one in there, which means... Uh... Can I do this? There's too many pipes up there to do it. I can... Actually, if I get rid of that one, I've... I'll put one here, and I'll put one over here as well and you she want to just rotate around a little bit and then I'll stick in one more down to there and then we will put a power pole into there so now I've got three of them running out this one is switching on and off occasionally because this tank here is dropping below the required 80% oh no it's, it's not yet it's not yet at all the 80% would be 160k in there but now it's really sucking this stuff out, and that means it's going to be sucking out all of the rest of it as well. So if we can run down over to here and take a look in this one, that's now started shifting that as well. Which means that we've actually got a bit more mud coming in. I mean, look at the amount that we've got coming off of here, off of this belt, now that everything is shifting through. This is starting to look a little bit more promising, which means that the mud is actually going to start backing up, which means that every single one of these should then be running continuously producing soil. The only problem we got is that I can pretty much guarantee that they are not producing enough soil yet. I need more soil being produced. So I've got to get that line there uh, over and we've got to do another... Well, I can, I can do one more line of these without too much trouble. But I'm going to need quite a bit more to properly get everything running through. I mean, at least I've got those up there, that side there, running now. Alright. Back we go again, and keep working on this. We've got a, we got a shortage, so we, we've got to make sure that we have everything pushed out to maximum production. So I'm going to bring this one down here. There's going to be an extra one down there like that. And then I'm going to go up to this side. And this is going to go right up. Can I do that even? No, I won't do that. I will put it to here. And I'll run a line of them down there like that. So then we'll copy and paste. And we'll do the same up through there. And then we need to get that line of ingredients there so I can do an underground belt here and that can pop right out over to that side like that so I can take you bring you round she's just going to go like that in a straight line down to there I've already got everything I need out that side belt in there like that and go and take some of these so that is going to just pull that off of there and drop it out onto that side and then I can go up through here and I can do exactly the same up through here like this. Does it matter? Which It doesn't matter what side it's on. It makes no difference. Uh, and then you can do the same down through here. So all we have to hope is that we've got enough mud and compost to be able to cover these extra seven factories that I'm just putting in now. I have no reason to think that we won't have enough to do this. There's no reason at all to suspect that we can't do this. Looks like we've got everything going in. The mud has already filled everything all the way up. I've just got to be able to run these extra seven factories. And it's a four-second crafting time. If we want any more than that, I'm going to have to go and start a whole new area for it. And I suspect that we wouldn't have enough mud to do any more than this anyway. But, I mean, look at the numbers now that are going through with that soil. There's a lot there. That's, that's looking a lot better. The only issue we got is I'm not quite producing enough mud to be able to do this. And, of course, I'm also not producing enough compost either. Although I am. Like, I'm now starting to use up some of the wheat in, in order to produce compost. But that's fine. That's, that's absolutely not going to make a huge difference. Uh, the main thing that we want to sort of just take a quick look at is 
Do we have enough coming in over here? Because it splits, remember? It gets to that point and it splits. So we have half of it running down over here in order to go into these Wheaton farms down here. And they're already now starting to throw out extra crop, which will then come in through there. At the moment, it's just keeping these six going in here. But eventually, they're going to start ignoring their seat. When we're moving on and starting to fill up some more of these. But we, we want more than that. The soil is running through. I've already got enough seeds in here. At least I have enough seeds at the moment just to run these six. But once it gets past this point, past the point of these six, down over to here, that's going to be the real test is do we have enough seeds in production or not. I'm hoping it's going to be alright for seeds. I mean, this overall is, is looking pretty promising. Like we've, we're filling up those with all of the soil that we need. Apart from that end, that end one now is just putting in the last of it and the soil has, has gone on past it. So all of those are full and now I've got all of this soil here and that's going to run on down to this bit down here which is going to start loading these up, which is even better. Keep it going. And then once they're loaded up, that means a whole load more trees coming in and, ev well, ev everything is, is coming in through. So that's, that's good. Right. How's the mud situation? The mud still seems to be good. Like, looking at it backing up up here, the compost in this way, that one's still completely full. This one's partly used up. The algae is running through as fast as we can produce it. I seem to have a balance on this with mud and so on. This now seems to be slightly better balanced as well. I don't even have enough coming through to take this salt water out. It's actually moving back down to the fourth ones in the line down here. We're getting a decent quantity of trees which means that we're starting to get more resin being produced and that's keeping all of this going. Okay, so that's now doing all right. I'm not going to do anything else to it for a minute. If we do need to come back through and add in some more of this, I'll have to like drop it down here and do something with it down this side. I don't think I need to worry about it at the moment. I've got plenty of soil running through the system. All the way down to here. Things things are looking up on there. Right. So what do I need next? I need to go back to my production. Uh, okay, it's been a while. I know what I was doing. I was getting everything set up for the orange circuits. It's just what have I produced so far for the orange circuits. And where have I gone and put it all? Let me go and hunt that out for a minute. Right, because of the amount of wood that we're producing and the fact that it, like, we, we, we don't seem to have enough wood being produced at the moment. Um, I'm gonna, gee, I'll tell you what we could do a second, is if we go to here and look at wood and go to craft. I've got two out of five. I've got three into five wood. Tree, timber is saw between six and eight wood, and so that's the recipe that we're using at the moment. Naphtha can be turned into wood, synthetic wood. Didn't actually realize that was even a thing. I don't know if it's in here because it's not showing a technology for it. We've got a synthetic wood recipe up there, but I don't have a tech showing up for it. So I'm not sure if that is even a thing that we can go and do. Uh, then I have the crystal tipped saw blade and a tree and that gives between six and eight timber which is the same as this one except that the saw blades just last a little bit longer. Um, honestly I don't think it's actually going to be worth doing that one. And then you've got the crystal saw blade over here. I guess maybe because of the speed that it does it. Don't know what's the... Oh, there, eight seconds for that one. No, they're, they're all the same. Um, and then you've got, well, one tree that's grown in the greenhouse. Green, greenhouse? Greenhouse. Made in, oh, by hand. That's the technologies. All right, yeah, so timber is a little bit of an effort. 
and we don't seem to be producing very much at the moment and the stuff that we are producing we're kind of using so what we'll do then is we will go with the liquid plastic as the option for making our orange what's me nots over here and what's me nots are the technical term um so these we got them it's the orange board we'll do the liquid plastic cellulose fiber option rather than the wood resin option Although the wood resin option gives two and this only gives one, we don't currently have another use of the liquid plastic anyway, so we might as well use this. Now, the only problem with that is we don't have a lot of liquid plastic coming in right now. And the reason we don't have a lot of liquid plastic coming in is because we don't have enough corn coming in. But that is now changing. With all, like... See, I've got all of this. I've got a lot more soil coming in, which means that we're starting to use more of these down here. Yes, absolutely, we could do with a whole lot more soil being produced, and we are going to have to go back and do some more work on that. Uh, but just for a minute, we can make use of this liquid plastic that we've got right here and do something with it. So I'm not going to make that up in the middle. I'm going to make this bit, this is going to come down here, way down here, and I think I'm going to do this over this side, and I'll pipe the plastic over here, be probably the safest thing for me to go and do, so if I remove that, uh, where are we going to do this? I reckon that we'll make it in this area down here, because then it'll be ready to go and start making some of the other bits as well, and... Yeah, I, I don't know. We, we, th th this will do to start with. This this will be just fine. We, we can pop it in here. So I'm going to want... I've got mud and I've got compost right there, which I actually want to get rid of. I'll go just to here and... No, I can't get rid of those. So I need to go on up a bit further to the mud and compost facility over here. And I can put that in and I can put that in and then I don't need to worry about anything else. And now we run back down this way. So I want you in here I want that one here and that is done in a standard assembling machine so I want standard assembling machines I'm going to do a build of 12 of these in a line I'm gonna get rid of these Coming down here like this and then I'm going to put them back again so I don't want to leave it without power and it was gonna to go to there right Covers that bit in there, and, and if we have a look up here, you can see we have got enemies massing closer and closer. If they've stopped in a group like that, that basically means they are going to combine and fuse and make a new um, spawner machiny thingy me doodad like these. That's what they're currently making. So we've got spawners, we've got all sorts in here. So that is what those there are doing. They're making a spawner. I've got a behemoth worm over there. Uh, I just got to hope that these guns here don't, like we, we don't get any major issues from that. This is our big problem over here. But so far, it doesn't look like the stepping stone method is sort of backfired on us. It's the fact that they joked about it. The developers joked and said, or oh, they might just change that without giving us any warning. That's a cruel, cruel thing to go and do. That really is. Right, there's five, six right there. And then I can go over to here and I can take a recipe. And it's Angel's Components. And it's that one right there. Requires cellulose fiber, liquid plastic. I got pipe coming in at the top. I'll put those in. Uh, what I'm actually going to do, I think, is I'm going to bring that round like that. And I'm going to take another one. And if I do that, yes, I will. I will do that. And then I can paste that recipe in there. And I can go through here. And I can do that like that. I need to go and get some more pipes. Bronze pipe to ground. I've got those up here being made on this side. They're not there. They are up here somewhere. Where are these bronze pipes being made? Over here. Right, and I've got 900 of them over there. So let me just go for a little jaunt and get some of those. And we have a few pipe to ground. So while I am setting this up, I've got 
RoboPort coverage. So the next thing I want to have a look at is RoboPort coverage comes out like that. I haven't quite got it all the way around on all of these areas. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I need one small remote right there so that I can then use it as a ghost print because you can't take it to use it as a ghost print to go anywhere unless you're holding one, which is... I've always found to be particularly frustrating. Uh, Bob's fluids right there, carbon dioxide. That's a new recipe in there. And then we've got more new recipes in here. Cobalt, silicon, cement, cobalt there. Uh, Angel's vehicles. I've now got a car that I can go and make. Now... Whilst it would be nice to have the car and drive around with the car, I don't actually want to do that. Because I keep driving into things. I need a hover vehicle. That's what I need. I need a flying vehicle to be able to do that. But anyway, that wasn't what I was going to do here. What was I What was I about to do? I was, I was, I was going to do something. Uh, oh, I'm going to make one of them. Uh, so Angel's Logistics. And I want to make one of those. So then I can put Ghost Prints in. So I want to ghost print in a few of these. I'm going to put one there, and then I need to... Now, unfortunately, it doesn't give me the exact distance that I need to know whether or not I'm close enough to it. So I'm just going to have to, like, kind of guess on this. Put that one out to there and I'll stop there that's, that's probably enough over that way but then I'm going to come down over here and I'm going to take these out a little bit further over this way so I'm going to put one there and then we're going to come out this way so what do we got we got one two three four five six seven eight nine So if I don't do quite that many, I'll just have an excessive amount coming along here. I can easily cover everything that I'm doing. And then I can come down here and I can do something similar. Drop that down there. And just put them in fairly tight together like that. And that just makes sure that, yes, I'm definitely covering everything down here. I'll put another one up there, and I'll put one there, and that's going to join in between them. Okay, so the reason that I want to cover all of those is so that I can put bricks down over everything that we've already built. I've got that all out on that side. I want some bricks over this side, so I'm going to want to put a few of these out, which means coming in along here like this. Put them in tight together, that's fine. Yeah, I'll put them in like that. It should be alright. I'll go up there by one more. I do. I actually want to go up a bit further than that. Let's put one there. Okay. That should be enough there, I would have thought. And then I need to also go and put some of these, which means I'm going to need to put some power poles down as well. So I'll put one every other one. Like that. So they've got three in there. And I'll do an extra one over there. Like that. And then I'll put some power poles down. So there'll be one here. Like this. And unfortunately when you're doing ghost prints with power poles. It does show the print of where the power pole goes. So that one's going to go up that side like that. Right. Let's cover that bit. And down here, I'm not going to worry about that for a minute because I've already got everything down there that I already want. But up this side, I'm going to want to put a couple of... Actually, I haven't got that bit hooked in. It's these up this side that I want to do. So I want to go there with a power pole. One over and then one over to there. And then I want to come out this way. Like this. like that and now I can go and add in a couple of resting points for rob or charge points at least for robots who are coming out onto these areas uh, it's going up there that one's going there I've got one that's coming up to there this I don't actually have enough right well I gotta bring I gotta bring one more Down there like that. That should be enough there. 
should cover all of it. Except this corner here. This this corner here isn't covered. Not by a long shot. Oh, it is. Ah, ideal. Right, the corner is already covered. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one extra up there like that, just to like extend that bit out. This is now all going to be covered over here, and I've already got a whole load covered in this side anyway. If we mouse over that, it comes all the way out. Right, that's good, because now what I can do is I can take brick paving like this, and I'm going to run that down in a straight line like this. Down there like that. I'm going to run it in here, and I'm going to make sure that everything in here is covered with brick paving. All of this big chunk in here. Unfortunately, that means I'm about to go and use up a whole load of the bricks that I've got. Because we did have a bit of a shortage of bricks. And I'm now about to go and use all of those bricks up again. So I am questioning the wisdom of this particular move. But I think it's the right one. We do want to, like, fill out the edges on this. And I'm not going to do any more than that. I'll just leave that section there at the moment. So we're just going to fill in that bit. I won't do a bigger chunk than that. We'll leave it just for now. And there's all of these coming out through. So I've got 10k in here. There go all the robots. Let's see how quickly. Are they going to break yet? Are they going to, like, suddenly run out of power? They're all going to break off pretty soon. Pick up 9.3, and there goes a huge, great big line of them there. Another big long line. And break. There we go. They're all rushing off now to go and find something to charge on. Every... <laughs> Look at them go. And that's the bit that then takes absolutely ages for them to go and do anything. Right, so while they go and mess around with that, so we haven't added anything down here. We'll put bricks down on this bit a little bit later. I won't do it just yet. So I'm going to want two sets of belts down here. I'm going to want one lot of belts bringing ingredients in, and then I'm going to want one lot of belts that are going to be putting the ingredients back out again. And the way that we're going to do actually, I don't need to do that. I can do both loaded onto the same belt because all I got to bring in here is cellulose fiber. So we'll go and get the cellulose fiber first. Now there's only one place where I'm producing cellulose fiber, but I have actually got a couple of points where I've pulled that out and sent it off elsewhere. So if we have a little bit of a look around here, see all of these bricks coming out. It's fantastic. Uh, where have I got the cellulose fiber being extracted? I've got that one right there where cellulose fiber is being pulled out. But if we go up this way, got going into the paper, this here. Why was that one? Oh, I remember now. I know why that one is because I've set up I set up a chest, didn't I? I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it off on a chest. It's going up to there. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.